Okay, so in, in this video we're going to look at uh, a, a little change with the uh, imaging facilities of X-Ways Forensics. Um, and to start with I've just created two small screenshots. The one at the top that you see there is created using version 16.6 uh, .6, and the one at the bottom is using version 17.1 uh, which I think the new feature I'm referring to is added in, but it might have been 17.0 because I don't think 16.9 has the feature. Um, top rises for spotting the difference if you can see one. Uh, as with everything with x-rays differences aren't always entirely noticeable but just because they're not noticeable doesn't mean they're not significant. Um, the difference between these two screenshots is the little square or uh, rectangle button rather at the bottom right there which you could easily miss if you didn't know it was there uh, and in fact I only realized it was there because I read something that Brett Shavers had written um, that he sent to me um, uh, and uh, it came to life so uh, the difference that I'm referring to is that of utilizing multiple processes for the purposes of imaging so I've just added a physical disk here to my X-ray forensics case press alt c to bring up the create disk image dialog um, and here we have the usual box um, which obviously we customize to our liking we might want to split the segments into two gigabyte we'll make that sha one we won't bother with the second hash or maybe we will but we'll just do a, a larger one uh, we want all the disk we want a neo one we're going to put it in our wherever our saved storage location is we're going to add some information in here and then when we click this little button here we get a box for extra threads now uh, I'm using a virtual machine uh, and the host machine that the virtual machine is running on only has two processors anyway um, so this virtual machine certainly only has one but if you had a machine with four or eight or whatever cores or machines with actual dedicated separate CPUs um, you could set x forensics to utilize those to try and get some extra speed subject to bus capacities, disk capacities, things like that. <coughs> but if you had, for argument's sake, say you had eight processors, uh, you might want to type in there for, uh, to ask it to utilize for, for its imaging and hashing and all the rest of it. Um, and if you tick the box again, it disappears. As simple as that. 